Hey guys, I'm Andrew Krongold and this is Data on Deck. Today we're going to talk about dollar cost averaging, what it is, and how it could potentially make a volatile stock market your friend. All right, so let's take an example here. Let's say you have $6,000 to invest. You have two options. You can choose to invest it all at once here in the red or invest in six equal increments of $1,000 each over six months. So we get a lot of people asking, I have a chunk of money. Is it good to just throw it in all at once or spread it out over a few months? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. So the first person chooses to take their $6,000, put it all in at once, and buys a $10 stock, and they're able to buy 600 shares. So over here we have the 600, 600 shares at $10 each will equal the $6,000. The person who chooses to put in $1,000 monthly in six, over six months is going to buy a different amount of shares each month as the share price changes. So originally your $1,000 is gonna buy you 100 shares of the $10 stock. Then as the stock appreciates, your same $1,000 will only buy you less shares. But in a volatile market, as the share prices go down, you'll actually end up picking up more shares than your original 100. The end result could potentially be that the person who invests over time could accumulate more shares at an average lower price than the original person. Both people invested $6,000. However, one of them owns the shares at a lower price. This isn't always the case, but it is one way to hedge against a volatile market. You could end up picking up shares at a lower price over time. Just one easy trick in investing your money. The real benefit of this is that in truly volatile times in the market, the same amount of dollars could potentially buy you more shares of the investment. Thanks for checking in on Data on Deck. Don't forget to follow us and we'll see you guys next time.